All right, let's talk about one of the one of the more pleasant surprises I would say this season. Mariota has played very well for Atlanta. It's kind of cool to see this with a couple of guys, right? Geno Smith has played well uh, for Seattle. We're now seeing uh, Mariota play well. Kind of cool to see in a season where there wasn't a lot of young quarterbacks that got drafted, you know, only one in the first round. Seeing some of these other guys come in and get opportunities, I'm not saying he's been lighting the world on fire, but he has played well, and he played well in this one in the, you know, 13 attempts that he had in this one, and he completed all but one of them, so uh, did some nice things. Let's talk about what the what the Falcons are doing well in general. We're going to start off with this play, so first off, San Francisco running a buzz concept right here, which means that uh, they're really protecting the middle of the field area. It's a third down and short, so that's the main area that they are protecting on this one, which means you're going to have to throw this ball a little bit further if you want to get a completion. It's going to be Oamadi Zacchaeus, who I feel like this is a guy who I was expecting absolutely nothing from heading into this season, but has I feel like every time I watched a game, he seems seemingly is getting open. He's playing very well. So again, uh, Arthur Smith, he finds guys no one else is paying attention to and has success with them. So good stuff by him. But uh, watch what's going to happen on this play. Mariota takes the snap. Mariota is going to look Zacchaeus' way, and it's open. I mean, definitely wide open, actually. This is a great route by him to where Mariota is in position to be able to make this throw. Now, one slight complication for Mariota is that there are two linebackers over the middle of the field with this buzz concept, so he can't just throw it whenever he wants, despite the fact that it is wide open. He kind of has to throw it uh, perfectly timed in between the two linebackers. However, that's what he does, and they're able to pick up a, a huge completion on that third down and short Really good stuff by everyone involved to be able to pick up that big completion, and that's just what what the Falcons are doing. Listen, these guys don't have huge names, but they're playing good football, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the name on the back of your jersey is. Are you playing well or are you not playing well is going to be the difference in how you win football games, and these guys are playing well. Something like this is just a great thing that Mariota brings to the table for the Falcons that a lot of other quarterbacks don't bring to the table is his mobility. He is someone who can move, and he's going to show that here, where Really, the edge rusher is going to be a key guy to watch here as, for Mariota, there's, it's an option play. So he can hand it off to his halfback, or he can take it himself and run to the right. And typically, what you do on these types of plays, how you decide which option to take, is based on the uh, unblocked edge rusher on the side of the field that you could be running towards. If that edge rusher stays to the outside to protect a potential protect from a potential quarterback keeper, well, then you just hand the ball off, and you've taken him out of the play. So, you know, you get a win there. You got an extra blocker. However, if he moves too far in, then as a quarterback, if you think you can get around him, you keep the ball yourself, you get around him, and then you can be on the outside where you can potentially pick up even more yards. So look at how when this play begins, I mean, the edge rusher is just, I mean, he's completely in the middle. He's crashing in. He's not even considering a potential quarterback keeper. So for Mariota, a very simple decision to be made here. Also meant to mention as well, it's a third down and short. They're trying to get to the 19-yard line. So that's just the situation. You're only trying to get a little bit of yards, which is kind of why I like this play call because guys are going to be a little bit more antsy uh you know edge rushers are going to be moving in a little bit quicker on plays like this so having an option where you can uh, read it a little easier makes sense Mariota does in fact keep it himself and he's able to pick up the first down there these are the kind of things that Mariota can do and we're seeing him use his legs with scrambling but also designing plays Arthur Smith designing plays to make this happen Smith did this with Tannehill in Tennessee. I mean, this is just kind of what he does. He likes having a quarterback who can move, and Mariota can move. It's not the main part of his game, but it's a part of his game, and you don't have to apologize for being a mobile quarterback. Something like this is another great example of just what Arthur Smith teams do. Uh, it, it really is. It's just finding soft spots in the zone coverage, especially with a play action, which they are running a play action here. You'll get, you'll get linebackers to move in. You'll get, uh, you know, Drake London is the guy who's running over the middle. And when he was drafted, I immediately felt like, is he going to be the A.J. Brown in this offense? And the answer is yes. That's exactly what he's been. He's been the A.J. Brown in this offense. Look at how you're going to see a play action. You, there's a gap for uh, Mariota to throw the ball to, uh, I almost called him A.J. Brown right there, to Drake London, who, you know, running a good route. This is schemed up. This is exactly how they like to run these types of plays, get you that window. And Mariota fits it through that window. So again, good stuff from Mariota. It's so fascinating because he literally was in the offense that we saw then Tannehill get in that Arthur Smith got all the praise for. It was like the exact same offense. It was the same thing. And Mariota wasn't able to do so well there. But 
possibly just a change of scenery and being kind of on the bench for a little bit allowed him to grow as a player. Like that does happen. You do get better. Uh, and you know, even when you're not a rookie, you still can get better. And he's done that. Again, it's some smaller plays like this one. It's a cover three zone on this one, and you're going to have, you know, it's once again a schemed up play. You have a receiver who's going to be running a deeper route uh, to kind of clear out the corner who's in that area. That receiver is, you know, uh, also known as Kyle Pitts, very good player. Uh, and then you, you're going to have, once again, Zacchaeus is going to be the guy who gets the catch kind of in the flat where the cornerback no longer is because he's been cleared out. Watch. You see Kyle Pitts runs over the middle. The corner and the other player in that area both follow him, which now allows for a bit of separation. It's nothing crazy, but Mariota does make this throw, and they're able to pick up a first down right there. So again, it's just running an offense. They're running an offense very well. They're not turning the ball over. He's doing the simple stuff. These aren't highlight reel level plays, no, but they're good plays, and at the end of the day, the goal is to win football games. I heard on a broadcast, they kind of talked about how Mariota felt like when he was younger, he was kind of trying to make these highlight real level plays and now he's just focused on running the offense being a, a game manager and he's doing it well finally something like this uh we got Kyle Pitts in the mix here Kyle Pitts in the red zone finally uh Kyle Pitts a touchdown here where it's gonna be man coverage you have Kyle Pitts running a route that's you know it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup you get Kyle Pitts on the outside one-on-one -on -one, you want to take that chance look at how Mariota looks towards his right uh there was kind of a scheme that play there I'm not not sure if that was uh he decided not to throw it there he shouldn't have you know if that was a legitimate read then he did the right thing not throwing it there because it was covered up that screen pass situation but he looks over there and Kyle Pitts is one-on-one -on -one, so he says hey this is looking pretty good. I actually kind of wonder if part of maybe sometimes why uh, we don't see Kyle Pitts look as uh, good in well, you know this season as maybe we expected him to be might be in part just because, and by as good, I really mean getting as much production. It might be in part because Arthur Smith is so uh, good at scheming guys open and things like that. And Pitts's value really is just being able to win one-on-ones. That's really what his value is, which you don't really scheme for. You kind of just say, okay, go ahead. But Mariota makes a good throw. Pitts is able to make that grab, and they're able to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Listen, I really don't know the ceiling of this Falcons team. They're such a unique team there's a lot of things I don't know about it and I think that you know there's a lot of players that don't have huge names so a lot of people aren't paying attention to it but like I don't know they're playing good football they're they're blocking well their offensive line's done a good job so far Drake London's been awesome this season Kyle Pitts is still very good even if he isn't getting the production maybe some people expected uh, you know Tyler Algier has been a very good young running back and Marcus Mariota is playing competent football he's playing good football so all that you have an inconsistent defense but we have some stars there this is an interesting Falcons team that's just not going to get talked about a ton because they're the Falcons unless they're able to go on a bit of a winning streak but hey three and three tied with the Buccaneers and again if that Grady Jarrett call goes the other way there's a very real chance that this team is four and two and looking like clear front runners to win the division uh, you know I'm a Buccaneers fan but I am not counting this Atlanta team out I am not taking them lightly they are a team that absolutely has uh been a surprise to me but a pleasant surprise they played very well this season uh so uh you know it's been cool to see that's what I think what do you guys think let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on the Atlanta Falcons always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching